verse 9, that the saying might be fulfilled. A prophecy that had been made, that saying might be fulfilled. Which he spoke. Who spoke? They said Jesus spoke. His saying might be fulfilled, what he had said. In inverted commas, it says a quotation, of those whom you gave me, he's talking to God Almighty, of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. He's telling Allah, of those you gave me, I have lost none. Close of inverted commas. This is what Jesus spoke. None. You know what is none? Not one. All right? You don't need a dictionary for that. None means not one. Not a single one. That's what it means. None means not one. And that is now in this Bible, the Red Letter Bible. This is the Red Letter Bible, which was presented to me by Dr. Anish Shorosh at the last debate. He scored a point. He says, you know, when we Arabs, when we go to meet a friend, we don't go empty-handed. So he presented this book to me in a nice green cover. I didn't know what it was inside. But when I went home, I checked it up. Beautiful. Very expensive Bible, this. Red letter Bible. Everything that Jesus spoke is in red. So easy to find. You don't have to now think, who said this? Uh, is inverted commas all right? But did Jesus say that? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry. Anything in red, Jesus. So that makes my task easier. To find out that is this Injil? You know, the Muslims get caught out. The Arab Muslim also. I say what the Bible says about Muhammad. So the Arab translator says what the Injil says about Muhammad. I can understand he's saying Injil and in Arabic he's saying about Muhammad. I say, I didn't say Injil, akhi. I said what the Bible says about Muhammad. So he changes. He said what the Torah says about Muhammad. I said, I didn't say Torah, I said Bible. Bible is not Torah, is not Zabur, is not Injil. Don't you see you get caught out. So this little book of mine explains to you what is Torah, what is Zabur, what is Injil. You must get it. If you haven't got it yet, get it. It's free. Right. So this, ta this book makes my task easier. So I start looking for everything that Jesus spoke in the New Testament. So I find that 21 out of 27 books of the New Testament, there are 27 books in the so-called Injil of the Christians. 21 out of 27 has not got even a red dot or a dash or a doodle. Leave out being the word of God is not even the word of Jesus. It is not even quoted. And in living Bible, there's a new, another, which the evangelists, the preachers use, the living Bible. 23 out of 27, there's not even a red dot or a dash or a doodle, not even a smudge. That's what you give me. You're telling me this is not even the words of Jesus. Leave out God's word. It is not even the words of And not even a word is quoted. But this particular one is in red. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. Is in red. That means this is what Jesus said. But the same John, in chapter 17, a chapter before 18, in verse 12 he says, same Jesus now, he says, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Means kept them in that straight path. Whom you gave, uh, those whom you gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, except the son of perdition, except one. None but one. So that means there is a contradiction. Jesus in the next chapter, the same Holy Ghost tells the same John to write, he, lost, he said, I lost none. Now he said, I have lost only one. <laughs> Is it one or none? <laughs> so, here is another King James Version. That's a King James Version. This is also another red letter Bible. Cost 43 rands 90 cents for this. You know our Quran we are selling you, brothers, 2,000 pages. This Quran, 10 rands. 10 rands. And if I have the chance, inshallah, the next time when I come along, if I can supply them enough, it will be 5 rands each. 5 rands each. 2,000 pages. 5 rands each, inshallah. At the moment, they are 10 rands. It's cheap. Wallah, is dirt cheap. 43 rands, 90 cents I paid for this. Plus GST. 
this is also a red letter Bible so I open the same verse John chapter 18 verse 9 and it's in black that means these editors they don't believe it was the word of Jesus I could say that can't be Jesus contradicting himself the Holy Ghost contradicting himself but he puts it in black so can you see what I see somebody else also sees but silently silently nobody knows what they have done you just read you read through you don't know what the games that they are playing but it can't be the words but it says only one we're just talking about one <laughs> why are you so particular I said you know in a court of law when you bear testimony and when you said well I only took one then you say I took none but I said the judge says you said one just now he said well you see I think maybe it was a slip of the tongue you know you can be charged for perjury bearing false witness even one is a contradiction but I said look since you are so you want you want me to over this one little point let's look at this in the second book of Chronicles chapter 9 verse 25 it says and Solomon had has a Suleiman he was a king and a wise man he had 4,000 stalls of horses then in another book of the Bible called one king first king chapter 4 verse 26 and Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses did he have 4,000 or did he have 40,000 how many did he have they said look it's only a question of a, a knot look very ingenious they're all ready to answer you I said look between 4 and 40 is just a zero was added by mistake maybe or a zero dropped off I says no zero not I says no my Jewish cousins they didn't they didn't know the zero you know zero is a new invention and it was given by the Arabs to the Western world zero without zero you couldn't have all these sciences you know that with those Latin figures you know M so, so mm, to tell you a thousand and that type of writing millions and billions you're gonna write how all this you working calculators you need the zero zero is a greatest invention of man and it's our Arab brethren who gave it to the West the Jews didn't know zero when they wrote this they used to write in words four in Hebrew F O U R four forty F O R T Y forty so that now the difference between four and forty is thirty six thousand it's not only one thirty six thousand what have you to say now it's a well a man can make a mistake yes, yes no doubt man can make mistakes but you say this is the word of God that God dictated so if God dictated then the fault is God's God made the mistake that is what we are taking exception to can you see if you say man writes and you know he was maybe he was tired or he had some some mandrax or what so and the guy you know instead of saying four he wrote 40 we can overlook people's faults but not God if you say God wrote it or God dictated it we have a right to take exception and say look you're attributing a lie to God now four or forty now the Bible gives us a test of how to find out whether a thing is from God or not beautiful beautiful in the second book of Timothy Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 every Christian and in previously they were quoting this but they have gone out of now it seems to be worn out this this verse 2 Timothy 3 16 it says all scripture is given by inspiration scripture means the holy book given by inspiration Allah's wahi and is profitable for doctrine number one for doctrine teaching what you should believe what you shouldn't believe doctrine for reproof you do something wrong say look out you see you do such and such a thing you are adultery so you'll be stoned to death or whatever you steal so go to jail whatever reproof look out doctrine reproof correction they say no 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 not like this my son you know this is the way to do the job or instructions unto righteousness four and I'm asking learned men of Christendom can you find a fifth heading under which you can put the word of God fifth I haven't come across one in 40 years no Christian 
would the name has ever been able to come forth with a fifth? I said, nor can I. I'm not saying that I'm cleverer than you. I can give you the fifth one. Beautiful. Anything, if it is from God, it must be under these four headings. It must be your doctrine, reproof, correction, or instructions unto righteousness. Right? He says, right. So I said, right. Now let's analyze. I give you one verse. Just one verse. From the book of Judges. Chapter 16, verse 1. Book of Judges. Chapter 16, verse 1. It reads, Then Samson, Samson, went to Gaza. Look, Gaza is in the news. You know where Gaza is? Yes, it's... These Jews are, you know, knocking and you know, killing our children there. That's Gaza. Gaza and West Bank. Gaza and West Bank, you keep on seeing it on your TV. Gaza. If I said this about a month ago, you wouldn't know where Gaza is. Yeah, you know now Gaza. You know where Gaza is? 